Aloha Manga Club Chapter 1305 of Hajime no Ippo is finally here and I have to say that over the past two weeks I've been dreaming that anything could happen and guess what something big happened in this chapter and I have to say this follows the themes of the manga itself almost perfectly. So what did George give us in these pages and panels this week? Well starting off we find out that while the arena had been silent up until this point because of the stoppage because the ref wanted to get sendo's glove fully attached back onto his arm it has been brought to a boil yet again by the roar of the tiger sendo is finally alive he is back on fire and this blood thirst between these two men is insatiable it's unstoppable something has got to give in fact they say another exchange in a level that could break their bones i think that's a very interesting translation and it brings us to something a little bit more interesting further down the line in this chapter but we see blow upon blow going up against sendo gonzalez and gonzalez really has the upper hand he's getting more singles hits in uh whereas sendo is just reacting and able to simultaneously hit him at different points but they are having dual exchanges of pain and suffering. And as it's been discussed before by none other than Martinez himself, Sendo is always putting out 9s and 10s, whereas Alfredo puts out 5s and 6s, because that's what you need to do to win, to get points, to not exhaust yourself. But the violence, Sendo is just reveling in this amazing growth potential that he has and i have to say the arena is reacting in just the same way you can't hear anything with a chance going on it's impossible it's it's one of the most amazing things that has happened in this arena according to at least me and we get to see more of a background on alfredo we get to see how his mind is thinking and i love getting to see our opponent's mindset because it paints him more as a three-dimensional character instead of a 2D villain of the week. And I think that's so, so nice because we really begin to feel for their backgrounds and how they're going to react. And it also gives us insight as to how the fight is going to go. We see that Alfredo is thinking to himself, you know, I hit him, he makes things even in one exchange of punches. And he's saying, the more that I hit him, he just evens the playing field with his knuckles to my face. And Alfredo's just thinking, what are his knuckles made out of? He's getting stronger as we go along. And finally, we switch to Sendo. And he is livid. He is mad. He is hungry. He's wanting to see if he is genuinely tougher than Ippo used to be. He wants the punch that cut down Ippo. And he wants to see how long it takes him down. He wants to see what it takes to get him off the mat. And this is the difference in mentality between Sindo and Ippo. Sindo is looking for an excuse to get hit so he can get back up. Ippo just got hit to get hit. There's a complete difference in taking this. Sindo is fully expecting to come back and he he straight up says i have to get a taste of it and see how much it will take to knock me out i need to search for something deep inside me that will help me save myself he's looking for himself to be his own strength whereas ipo relied on other and that's where i think we're going to learn to grow i think in the next chapter i'm not going to spoil it till we get to the very end but keep this in mind Sendo is looking for a reason to get rocked. He's looking for a reason why he is better than Ippo. He is Ippo's one true rival. I hate to tell you, anybody who says, you know, anybody else, Mashiba, nah. Miata, I'm sorry, that's just his man crush. But Sendo is truly the one who understands Ippo the best. He's the one who can bring the most out of him in a fight. And Sendo comes in for a knuckle drop. He comes in high. He's, t he's basically signaling what punch he's going to do. He's coming down and he's about to knock Sendo right ac Alfredo across the face. And Ippo says, all right, Sendo's destroyer right. And Alfredo says, I can see what's happening. And we start to slow down. We see the muscles. We see the veins. And Alfredo says, as he's seeing what's going on, he's saying, you're trying to deceive me. But I sense the power. What counter can I use? And he dodges back. Alfredo dodges one of the best opportunities that he has to knock 
without Sindo. He lacks the courage to do this. And this is the central theme of Epo. It's the struggle to find courage, to find self-worth in what you're doing. And right now, in a battle of wills, Sindo is winning while Alfredo is losing. Just that fantastic storytelling going on through this fight. We see Sindo punch so hard and come back up. And Alfredo thinks to himself the whole time, this is dangerous. If I make a mistake, I will die. I will be finished. He's starting to go to the Brian Hawk school of mentality of, why does somebody else have the opportunity to kill in the ring? Alfredo's not used to fighting somebody like him. A reflection of himself, what he could have been. The pure animal that is Sindo. And he takes the next punch with his guard. But it rocks him. It hits him in the jaw. It addles his brain. And he's moving around. And Alfredo second says, why is he on the defensive? What we get to see from the mentality of Sendo, he's scared. He's afraid. He's been on the defensive because he knows that Sendo has more power. And I think one of the most amazing things happens, and it's honestly misinterpreted in the comments that I've been reading on Reddit. Everyone's been saying that the reason why Alfredo says, my arms are numb, can I get them up? My legs are dying, but I can last. My brain, it's working well. He's saying that he can still go on. What people are misinterpreting is his arms are tired from the fight. They're not. To me, this is saying that he's been rocked by a solid hit just now. Again, he's been tired, but his arms aren't numb because of the just gigantic fist that he took from Sendo. Alfredo has just a little bit more than what we think he has. He's about to fight the Naniwa Tiger with no arms. Sindo is throwing a huge, huge blow. And Alfredo blocks it with his forehead. Something that he made fun of Ipo for during, during his last fight, he's now resorting to. I think we're seeing the evolution of both fighters. We're seeing one fighter just become stronger and more animalistic while another one regains what they lost. They're becoming more dangerous as they grow. And Alfredo blocks the punch with his face. And he gets a little bit of damage, but... Sindo paid. He shatters his hand. He gets what they call a bar room fracture, a boxer's knuckle. It's right over here, um, and I've actually done this before from a bunch of different things, but you fracture your pinkies because you're hitting wrong, and hitting here, the hardest part of your head is going to for sure wreck just your smaller, weaker bones in your body. Sindo says, it broke. I don't know what I, he's, I, it's broke. I've got to fight. And Martinez says, his hand is broken, but he will not back down. He will continue to go after his prey. Gonzalez is backed up against the rope, something that we've seen time and time again in the manga. And it makes me so excited. Sendo has his left. He can still punch with innumerable power, like immeasurable, immeasurable power. Sorry, that was the wrong word to use. But he can still throw a fight. He can still destroy what is in front of him. But Alfredo is gaining something that he didn't necessarily have before. He had confidence. He had cockiness. But he didn't have confidence. He didn't have courage. Sorry, courage. And that's where I think this manga is really heading. This fight is really heading. It's the blinding courage to go up against something that is the unknown. Go up against yourself and bring them down. This whole fight, Alfredo has been fighting down to Sendo's level. He's been swinging for the fences. He's been doing brawls. Honestly, if he had activated, I can never say, Death God 2.0, he could have stayed outside of the ring and honestly won by points. Everyone saying that he couldn't have done that is clearly wrong. These are both men at the top of their game. I think it would have been a fight, but I think Alfredo could have won. But he brought it to Sendo. He brought the fight into the inner reaches because it's absolutely amazing. But he's gaining so much. Alfredo is starting to become more courageous during this fight. 
And the thing that I wanted to point out is Sendo is looking for an excuse to build himself back up. Show Ippo how it's done. He almost wants to lose so he can show Ippo how to build yourself back up from the bottom. And this will actually put them at nearly a tied record. Sendo has lost twice to Ippo, and he technically beat Volg, uh, which was kind of up for debate. No one was really happy with that. But if he loses here, they both lost to the same person, and they can both go back up together. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but again, I'm just so excited to see. And anyone saying, oh, it's 100% clear that Sendo's going to win, or it's 100% clear that Gonzalez is going to win, you don't know. As predictable as we think George is, we didn't understand that he was going to take Ipo out like 200 chapters ago. It's unthinkable, just completely off the rails. But here we are. Adventuring through this amazing fight, seeing two men become courageous, fight themselves, fight their demons. And the one who will come out on top is not only the one who is the most courageous, but the one most willing to accept change within themselves. I think... I don't want to see Sendo lose at all. But if he does, I'm not surprised. If Alfredo loses, I'm not shocked. I'm just looking forward to chapter 1306. Let me know who you think will win in the comments down below because I'm just as lost as the rest of you at some points. If you like manga and anime related content, don't forget to subscribe. And for everyone new and old, welcome and welcome back. It's your boy Lohali and I will see you next video.